On today's video, I'll be showing you how to check the voltage at your furnace board. If you didn't get a chance to watch my previous video, on my previous video I showed you how to check the voltage coming um, down from the board down to your thermostat. And I just showed you basic, basically how to check for voltage on each terminal, uh, your blower, your AC, and your heater. Here we're going to check the voltage at our furnace board. So you can see here we have our common. Our common is going to be our power uh, coming in. And you can see here that here the wire jumps over to R. And that's your R right there. So you can see the wire, uh, the, the terminal here where the red wire comes down, it comes off. Now this is going to run down to your thermostat. So go ahead and check that video out. And right now, if, if I want to know if my thermostat um, is getting power from my board, what I can do is I can check for voltage up here by checking my common to my R terminal. So you want to make sure when you're working on your furnace that you're careful. Here what I did is you have your safety switch. This switch has to be engaged in order for you to properly test your system. So here I put some electrical tape just to engage my safety switch. And this is just because I removed the panel. So right now, the system thinks that the panel is on. So here I have my common. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my common and I'm going to tap my, my red wire or my R terminal on the furnace board. And that should give me a reading of 24 volts. And you can see here I'm at 26.9. You should get a reading anywhere between 24 and 28 volts. So right now, according to my board, I am getting 24 volts down to my thermostat. Here I have my white terminal, my yellow terminal, my green terminal. My white is going to be my heat. My yellow is going to be my AC. My green is going to be my blower. Right now, if I tap my common... and I tap my green, I will not get any voltage reading. The reason being because I do not have my thermostat set to turn the blower on. My thermostat, it's in the off position. I'm gonna switch this over to on. Whenever you turn your thermostat to the on position, you're basically just using it as a regular fan and it's just continuously recirculating the ambient temperature or the ambient air that's in the home. When you put your thermostat to auto uh, cool, that's when it will act as a, as a thermostat checking or regulating the, the temperature inside the unit and as far as your heat as well. That's what will kick the AC on and kick the AC off. But if you put your thermostat to the on position, you're simply just running the fan. So here you can see my fan motor is running and I'm going to tap the common lead and my green lead. And I should get a reading of 24 volts. And you can see here I'm at 26.5. Now I'm going to turn my blower back to the auto position. And that should turn my blower off. So here my blower motor turned off. And now when I take my leads and I test my common terminal to my green or the G terminal, I shouldn't have any voltage coming through my, my multimeter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my AC on and once I turn the AC on I should get a 24 volt reading from my common to my Y terminal. You can see here I'm on auto. I'm going to push it to cool. Make sure you drop the temperature past what the reading is on your thermostat and that should turn my AC on. Now I should have 24 volts on my furnace board from my common to my Y terminal. So right now my blower motor is running. I do hear the system turning over. The condensing unit is on. I have my lead right now on the common and on my yellow terminal. And you can see here I have a voltage reading of 25 volts. Obviously because my blower motor is running you see I have here 25 volts and I have my lead on my common and on my G terminal at my furnace board. Now I'm going to turn my thermostat to the off setting. 
You may hear your blower motor continuously running because you may have a delay on your system. Just wait for that to shut off. Once we go back into uh, our attic and test the furnace board, we shouldn't have any voltage going in between our common and our Y terminal. Now our blow motor turned off, our condenser unit is off. I have my leads on my common and on my Y terminal. And you can see here, I have no volts. You can follow the same process, uh, diagnosing your heat. Go downstairs, turn your thermostat off, come up here, check for voltage. Between your common and your W terminal, right now it's off, so you shouldn't have any voltage coming in. Now once you turn it on, you will get a volt reading of 24 to 28 volts. The reason it's, it's important that you understand this process is because if you do have a faulty thermostat, you'll be able to diagnose it because one of your terminals won't be getting the proper reading. So let's say you go downstairs, you check your voltage on your thermostat, everything's fine, you turn the system on, and for some reason your AC doesn't want to turn on, you would come up here and you would check the voltage up here. If you have the proper voltage, then you know your thermostat is faulty or, or some other issue is going on as far as wiring. And this just is very helpful. If you watch my video on thermostat wiring and troubleshooting and testing using your multimeter, and you watch the video uh, that I just made on checking your voltage and your wiring up at your furnace board, this will help you tremendously when you're out in the field trying to diagnose and troubleshoot. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.